My name's Ben Blythe, and I'm happy to explain the rules to the Armored Combat Tournament we'll be hosting at CombatCon this year. This video will be about five minutes long and explain the rules, requirements, and philosophy of CombatCon's newest HEMA tournament. This tournament is designed to simulate combat by spear thrusts to split male rings and pierced leather armor. The spear and spear head will be provided by CombatCon. Striking your opponent in areas covered by plate won't stop the action, nor will it score you points. This area is functionally invulnerable. Striking your opponent in chain-covered areas will provide one point, and we're looking for consistent pressure here, about two tempos or passing step. Strikes to unarmored areas will be worth two points. For these, light pokes or jabs are sufficient. Remember, we don't want to hurt people, and the judges will be looking for these sort of light taps to unarmored areas. Grapples and disarms will be allowed, and they'll be worth three points apiece, so it'll be a significant part of this tournament. The goal of grappling, though, is to drive opponents to their knees, not to take them down. Remember, we're wearing a lot of armor right now, and we don't want to just slam someone to the ground and cause an injury. Tripping is certainly verboten. Balancing your kit to suit your strategy is part of this tournament. We've seen lightly armored fighters gain a significant tempo advantage on more heavily armored fighters. This tournament is exploratory and experimental in nature, so make plans to show up even if you don't have a lot of armor to choose from. This tournament is unique in that the equipment requirements are a bit more specific than most other HEMA tournaments. Steel helmets are required, and they should be 16 gauge mild, 18 gauge stainless steel, or 20 gauge spring steel. Open face helmets are allowed, but they must have a perforated steel face covering and not allow a half inch dowel to pass through. These helmets will provide more visibility and auction flow, but count as unarmored for the purposes of scoring. All plate mail should follow similar rules to helmets and should be 20 gauge or better. Chain mail should be riveted, welded, or a combination of these with solid rings. Butted and titanium mail is allowed, but so called shark mail is not. Elbow protection should be steel and cover three points of the elbow. While it's not required, van braces and forearm protection will be helpful. Gauntlets should be steel and articulated gauntlets must be approved prior to the tournament. We will make exceptions and allow Conan gloves as well as Spez heavy gloves. Gambesons, while not necessarily required, will certainly be able to make the hits you're going to take a lot lighter and offer some much needed protection. It'll also cover up any ahistorical spots. Steel gorgets are recommended, although any gorget approved for synthetic will be allowed. Thighs must be covered by steel or hard plastic. Remember, the goal of this is to look as historically authentic as possible, so you'll need to cover any plastic armor components with leather or cloth. In this tournament, the equipment and armor we wear should be just as historical as the techniques we use. This tournament is a living experiment, so feel free to dress the part and get into it. Embrace your inner historical reenactor. Now that we have the requirements and points down, let's talk about how this tournament will be conducted. This tournament will be conducted to nine points, or until time runs out. A major difference from this tournament and other HEMA tournaments that you'll get to enjoy at Combat Con, I mean, besides the armor, is that fighters will not return to their corners after a hold is called. Instead, they'll take about three steps apiece away from each other and wait for the judges to resume fighting. Shoving your opponent out of the ring won't award you any points, and Fighters who find themselves evacuating the ring too often may receive a warning card. There's going to be a lot of grapples and clinches in this tournament, and be sure to stick around and fight those out. Don't just run away. If you have any questions about this or other tournaments coming up at CombatCon, feel free to send an email to tournaments at combatcon.com.